considering that I was in my last, I had my last two classes in my graduate program, I probably was like scared because I didn't know how I was going to finish my classes, graduate, and have a baby. So when he told me he was like, baby, you're pregnant, I was like, no, I'm just sick or I'm just tired from working so many hours. I think it took me two months to take a test to see if I was pregnant. Well, his was, I told you so. <laughs> Mine was, oh my gosh, what? Yeah, she was like totally shocked about it and I was like, uh, well, this, this is what happens. <laughs> I think about the same. You know, I knew that we could do it, you know, because we, we can do anything, you know, but it was the how to do it. I think my thing more was the delivery part of it than the actual, you know, the actual baby. Ah, oh, that's amazing. I call him my miracle baby because when he was born, I had a lot of relationships in my family that weren't good and we just didn't get along, but once he was born, it like it all went away. People we never thought we would talk to again were best friends with, and they helped us with him. So just so much change when he was born. She's here now, and she's such a joy it's to see her every morning, to get up and wake up to her and take care of her. It, it makes life more meaningful now because to me, for me, it was just me all these years. So now it's like to get up and see her smile and even when my day seems kind of like crazy, you know, it's her smile and just to know that I have somebody to come home to, it makes everything okay. Oh man, it's a more amazing, it's more amazing every day, I mean. Yeah, it's... at the beginning when he was born, it was more so, oh my gosh, I don't know, I don't think I can do this, I'm so tired, I'm not getting any sleep, now it's like, it, he's so fun and it's joyful. He's happy, so it's a big difference. <laughs> I feel great that he's here. We love uh, Bob and Cindy. I think there's a lot of it. I think if we had other people, maybe not. Um, I mean, I like the you know the baby box and all of that. You know, we got our crib paid for. You know, so that's some of it. But we, what I like anyways, is the um, the counseling. You know, there's especially lately, um, me and Bob have watched less videos and more just talking. And then, like, he's talked, he's done the Why Not program, you know, so we were talking about getting married, which we ended up doing. We got married on July 7th. For the education, uh, it just, it hurts for me to see people struggling, especially young moms who are really trying their best. And then for there to be so many resources out there and for them to be struggling and I know they can, you know, get the help that they need, it's like I couldn't just sit back and let that happen. So whenever I meet a mother, a young mom that's expecting, I'll tell them about the center. Whether they have the best finances in the world or the worst, I still tell them about it. First found out I was having a baby. Just because you always imagine what it'd be like to have a baby. But when you're actually pregnant and you have to prepare mentally for that, you know, it's it's not easy, but the classes that they offer. So I will come in and watch a video and to actually educate myself on those things made it a lot easier for me. I thought that coming here, um, I would be helping the clients that I'm working with, but I feel like they've definitely impacted me probably more than I have impacted them. And so they've been a huge blessing to me and encouragement to me also and then just seeing them change and seeing their them grow I think has really encouraged me and then as far as the staff here I feel like the staff is so encouraging and every time you know I come in we're you know constantly encouraged by the other people who work here and it's a blessing to know that they pray for me and pray for the, the clients individually. To, you know, we need all the help we can get uh, becoming a medical uh, center, uh, you know, with ultrasound capability, and and that's a big push now. And uh, we, as I said before, we intend to have a pretty aggressive marketing plan to reach out and find people that maybe are on the fence uh, on the subject of abortion, and to to at least get a session with them where we can 
show them you know information on what abortion really is and and statistics and pictures and data of all type uh, that's just meant to to open people's eyes that's all we're just saying be informed when you make uh, what is probably going to be a life-changing decision one way or the other <laughs>